Hello, my name is Beth Mullet, and tonight I'd like to explore some of the changes and challenges that people experience as they move into middle adulthood. This would be the phase generally considered to contain ages between 30 and 55. As one might expect, people moving into middle adulthood experience many physical changes. Adults move from the process of growing up to growing down or senescing. They begin to experience physical issues, wrinkles, balding, decreased immune systems. They may be diagnosed with chronic illnesses for the first time in their lives. And then, then there are the cognitive changes. When we're young, we can quickly process basic cognitive tasks and tests. However, as we get older, our fluid intelligence begins to decline, affecting especially those cognitive tasks that are outside our everyday realm. The same tasks that we whip through quickly as children may take longer and longer as to process as adults. This slowed down processing may be the first of many challenges adults in this phase of life will face. As a matter of fact, I appreciate your patience as I'm reading these notes to you instead of having memorized them. As an adult in the middle adulthood phase, I can attest to the challenges of cognitive slowdown too. Middle adulthood tends to bring a shifting of life focuses. People move from a life focused on achieving towards a life focused on responsibility. They must now learn to use all of the skills and education they have achieved thus far in their life, not only to achieve their own goals, but also to care for and assist those for whom they feel responsible. Home, work, school, church, community, there are many people outside of themselves that people in middle adulthood will find themselves caring for. So, do you feel that you have more responsibility than you did in your 20s? Depends on when in my 20s. More responsibility than my early 20s? Absolutely. More responsibility than my late 20s? No, because I had a kid then too. Um, I definitely have more responsibility now than in my early 20s. Um, in my early 20s. <laughs> I pretty much did whatever I wanted, and I had Zoe at some time, so I think it's gotten a little bit more in some aspects, um, but I think it's pretty close. Additionally, adults in this life phase may begin to look for more meaning in their lives. As they become more focused on their inner consciousness and gain a deeper understanding of themselves and their own needs, they may feel a more pressing need to create deeper, more meaningful bonds and to live more truthfully to themselves. Who or what are you responsible for? Um, <laughs> I'm responsible for him, Matthew, for my son, um, my boyfriend's son, helping my boyfriend. For myself, to keep myself healthy, um, to keep myself from falling into really deep depression, uh, to fall back to alcoholism. Are you more or less likely than you were in your 20s to try to conform with social norms? Um, I pretty much did whatever I wanted in my 20s. Um, now, I I have to conform a little bit when I'm at work because I'm expected to be a role model that I feel like when I'm at home or with my friends, I'm like my most true self. Less. Why? <clears throat> I'm older now and I don't feel like I have to impress anybody anymore. Is meaning in your life important to you? Definitely. And how, what do you do? How do you find meaning in life? Um, I find meaning by giving back. I feel like I've been blessed in a lot of ways and that my kids have had opportunities that most kids don't have, so I feel like I need to give back and make things better for other kids. Yes. Yes, it's the most important thing. It's also the thing that uh, I have the most trouble finding. What would meaning in your life look like for you? Just an idea of sort of why, sort of the why we're here, sort of the general sort of thing. I run, um, I meditate, I do yoga, I spend a lot of time just thinking about things. All that helps to dissociate me from the need to find it, also you know, helps me to try to find it. 
While adults in middle adulthood are searching for deeper and more meaningful interactions in lives, many may struggle with marriages that they feel no longer fit them. In the U.S., 41% of first marriages end in divorce, and the average age for a first divorce is 30 years old. Just under 50% of people who divorce once will choose not to remarry. Have you ever been married? Yes. Horrible, sure of one. Yes. I'm on number two. We're currently separated and seeking a divorce. Perhaps as these adults are beginning to gain, become more self-aware, they are also redefining what type of relationship will fit them best rather than concerning themselves with what society expects from them. Society does seem to expect people in middle adulthood to be married, and married status does seem to impart a higher reported level of happiness and lower rates of alcoholism, addiction, and stress-related disease. Do you feel that society expects you to be married? Yeah, a lot of times. Yes. Um, in the relationship that I'm currently in, we've been together for we function as a married couple, but we are not legally married. Um, so in many ways, yes, I do believe that. Um, I get asked all the time, when are you getting married? Are you married yet? Are you engaged yet? And I'm not. That's a constant question from everyone. It's frustrating. <laughs> um, it is very frustrating because I do so much. I do want to get married so much, so much because it is a piece of paper, but it changes everything in society. The insurance changes, rights change. However, many middle-aged adults may choose to become or remain single. So, would you ever remarry? Uh, highly. Highly unlikely, honestly. I was very determined to never do that again. Why? Because <clears throat> it was a bad experience the first time. I was too young. She wasn't the right person. What does an ideal healthy relationship look like for you? Oh, well, it's two-sided. Are you getting something out of it? Am I getting something out of it? If, if only one person is, I don't consider that a healthy relationship. The ideal relationship is not one-sided. Both people are working to make the relationship work. It's symmetrically asymmetrical. A good, healthy relationship is standing side by side, looking forward in life in the same direction. There are many additional pressures and challenges in middle adulthood. Children of middle adults may be growing up and becoming more independent or leaving the house entirely. I don't really have young children anymore. So I did when I was in my 20s. Mm -hmm. They're kind of independent. Adults who have spent the past couple of decades identifying themselves as parents may now struggle with feelings of loneliness and loss. They may have to redefine what parenting means. They may need to find new hobbies to fill empty time. And they may need to even adapt their, their living situations. Middle adults may struggle with socioeconomic labels. They may perceive themselves to not be as, as successful or advanced as they had hoped they would be at this time in their life. Or they may feel they are not as far as society expects that they should be. These adults may also be struggling with changes in their sexual lives. They may be adapting to both physical changes and decreases in desire. They may struggle with identity as their reproductive years come to an end. Finally, they will probably still be struggling with some of the same traumas and experiences that challenged them in earlier stages of their lives. What is uh, one early memory that you have that you believe still affects you today? Okay. My dad was a smoker, and he promised my sister and I that he would um, quit smoking by the time he was 40. He never did. Smoked till the day he died at 59. So... I remember being disappointed in him for that. And I love my dad, and got along great, but I was always disappointed for that. So it affects me now because I don't want to do anything, make any promises to Lorelai that I would not be able to keep. 
and he had just moved to Florida and my dad got laid off. So he, you know, he had a good job working nine to five first shift and uh, the only job he could get was on third shift and everything. So I didn't get to see my dad except for on Saturdays, but my dad did, you know, he did what he could so that we could keep our house and everything. I was kind of like seven or eight. I was a bit of a problem child, I was kind of very angry. It was a rough day, and my uncle came and talked to me. He was great to my dad. He emphatically told me that I wasn't wanted, and that I was a guest in his house. And if I wanted to leave, I just had to say I wanted to have. Ever since then, both in that household and somewhat in life, I felt like a guest. They had just had my little brother. He was born almost my fifth birthday. And he was probably six months old at that time. And my mom used to leave after my dad would leave for work. My mom would leave to go meet her boyfriend or go to the bar to meet a new boyfriend. And I have this memory of sitting on, in our apartment at the time, on a fold out couch. Um, with diapers and bottles around me with my brother between my legs at five, which is incomprehensible now that anybody would do that. Um, just because of the time of year it was like Halloween, for example, it was banned in our house because um, they were super ultra conservative and it was a religious thing. So now I think it's my favorite time of the year. A lot of it has to do with because it was forbidden before. As you can see, counselors working with clients in middle adulthood will need to be sensitive and empathetic to a wide variety of challenges and changes. This work will require kindness and patience. However, assisting adults to successfully navigate their way through a time of great internal upheaval and reinvention could also be very fulfilling and exciting. Thank you for your time. I don't feel like I'm in my middle adulthood. I still feel like exact same person I'm just I am older but I don't feel older it's really weird <laughs> it's so strange to like look at myself and see that I'm 41 and I don't feel 41 I certainly in a lot of respects don't act 41 and it's just so strange to like think about myself as approaching like midlife or so mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's very surreal.